Now, you heard, of course, uh, what your fellow panelist, your fellow countryman, has said about his expectations uh, regarding Friday's elections. What is your take on Friday's elections, Ari Hassan? Yes, um, thank you very much. My um, take is a bit nuanced from that of uh, uh, the Netherlands Professor Ayute. I think democracy is a work in progress. And um, definitely there will be hitches. But um, looking at the process so far, I think the Electoral Commission has done a very, very significant job worthy of commendation from Ghanaians. I mean, the, the way, with the government support, of course, the way they've started the process with the voter registration, with the facilities in place, with the security arrangement. Mm -hmm. I think if there is going to be any, any um, disadvantage or any process, any um, problem with the process is going to be with the technical hitches, not with um, the credibility aspect of it. And I, 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 I know, even though I know that um, the smoothness of the process, the credibility of the process is consequential to the credibility of the election itself. But I believe that come December 7th, Friday, Ghana will go to the polls which will come out successful. And um, I'm sure that technical issues here and there will not put a damper on the success of the election. Now, Arhasan, obviously the Electoral Commission is made up of human beings. It's of made course. up of uh, men and women uh, that uh, may have, of course, uh, uh, different agendas. Uh, they could even have their own interests. Uh, what makes you so sure that uh, they cannot, in fact, uh, bungle the election. Yeah, um, this is the, the sixth time we're going to, uh, to Ghana is going to an election. Uh, we've been there and back f for the past, I mean, for, for, for the fifth time now. And so far, Ghana has, on each occasion, uh, came out stronger and better. I know it's an expect, uh, it, the democracy, as I said, is a, is a work in progress. But mm -hmm. so far, I should say, after the, after the fifth time, mm -hmm. Ghana has done some good with the process. I see. Is this election, in your view, being run uh, based on issues, or is it on personalities? I think it's a mix of both. We are at a crunch time. I mean, few days or two, two days to the elections, and um, it's now it's it's it has zeroed down to more of personality than than than, than policy issues than issues. It's it's now pe personality based. Of course, you can understand there is a high stake involved. Mm -hmm. Ghana has just as they joined the um, the oil rich nations and. You can, I mean, human, human nature being what it is, the egocentric aspect of us tend to kind of uh, take control of us and the expectations become kind of uh, unmanageable. And we tend to play on, uh, on our emotions, go off uh, on a tangent with a bit of uh, uh, provocations here and there. I see. George, uh, do you agree with uh, Ali Hassan that uh, this election is in fact uh, uh, is really about uh, uh, about uh, the messengers mm -hmm. are not necessarily the message? Well, you know, I think um, <clears throat> you know, I agree with him that you know the issues are going to be important. Well, of course, there's like he said, there's a little bit of both in uh, in this uh, personalities, you know, count. Uh, but uh, I, I see this election as more issue driven. Uh, number one, uh, I think one of the issues that are of concern to uh, many Ghanaians is the uh, rising cost of living. Mm -hmm. uh, that has been, when, you know, when I was there during the, um, uh, <clears throat> during the first part of this year, you know, uh, people were complaining about the high cost of living. Uh, the second one is, um, <clears throat> 
There have been, you know, also uh, the issue of, you know, corruption and the oil may scandal has also been on the minds of, you know, many, many, many Ghanaians uh, who feel that, you know, the politicians are getting away with, you know, uh, robbing the nation and so forth. Uh, and, the, you know, the third issue is also related to the first one about the, uh, the falling value of the, uh, the city, ex the external value of the city. Mm -hmm. uh, it is plummeted. And also, uh, the, the, the fourth factor that uh, when I was there I felt was the rising political tension in the country. Mm -hmm. It dissipated somewhat with the, with the death of, uh, you know, John Atta Mills. Uh, and it showed a lot of maturity, political maturity, when all Ghanaians came together to, you know, um, mourn the, uh, you know, the death of the uh, departed president. And also the smoothness of the uh, transition from uh, John Atta Mills to uh, John Mahama. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very, very encouraging. So the political tension uh, sort of uh, dissipated somewhat. And I will also say that, as a matter of fact, you know, because of the death of the first of the president, you know, John Atta, there's some, some kind of a sympathy vote. Uh, there might be a sympathy vote for the ruling NDC. Some kind, not a huge sympathy vote, perhaps. Uh, well, <laughs> well, I think there might be a sympathy vote for the NDC. I see. Yeah, but uh, but you know, uh, the level of political pressure, uh, you know, tension has come down. It is also affecting, and I think this is one of the reasons why I've been more concerned about the process because you see. Foreign investors right now are sitting on the fence. You know, they have all adopted the wait and see attitude. Okay, so it's very, very important that this uh, election is fraud free. Okay, and also there are many rich people in Ghana who have packed their wealth outside the country. It's, it's one of the reasons why the value of the city is, is falling because you know not enough money is coming in and a lot of money is going out. Okay? Are those uh, NPP supporters or sympathizers? Oh, no, I said rich people. You yes, know, rich people rich tend people to be a bit conservative. Parties, okay. Yeah, but the NPP is politically right of center, isn't it? Yeah, the NPP is you know, politically right of the center. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm.